I'm Paul with Server Factory, and today we're taking a look at the long-term acquisition of Intel's NAND and SSD storage subsidiary by the Korean semiconductor giant SK Hynix. Just over one year in the making, SK Hynix and Intel have completed the first closing of Intel's NAND and SSD business. The deal is worth a reported $9 billion, to be completed in two stages, with the first $7 billion stage completed as of the new year. Overcoming China's regulatory hurdles has and will continue to impact the speed at which this procurement can take place in the following years. The official quote from Intel states it is selling its SSD business, including the transfer of certain NAND SSD associated intellectual properties IP and employees and the Dalian NAND memory manufacturing facility in China to Seoul-based SK Hynix. The child born of this endeavour will be named Solidime, combining solid as in solid state and dime as in paradigm. This company will operate as a wholly owned subsidiary of SK Hynix. Now, what does this actually mean for those who are using or plan to use Intel storage devices? Not much at all. The venture will be led by Rob Crook as CEO, who was the previous head of Intel's NAND business and will likely operate in a similar capacity. Crook has great confidence in this acquisition, assuring Solidime is poised to be the world's next big semiconductor company, which presents an unprecedented opportunity to reinvent the data memory and storage industry, and we are steadfast in our commitment to lead the data industry in a way that can truly fuel human advancement. Solidime will operate 10 minutes down the road from Intel's San Jose headquarters in Santa Clara, California. The reality of this acquisition is that the only changes likely to be apparent by the consumer are the names of the SSDs changing from Intel to Solidime and the future plans of the company to shift towards what SK Hynix want. It has been said by Intel that they will continue to manufacture NAND wafers at SK Hynix's Dalian memory manufacturing facility and retain certain IP related to the manufacture and design of NAND wafers until the final closing of the transaction. We have an idea of when this deal will be finalised, with the statement, the final closing is expected to occur in or after March 2025, when SK Hynix will acquire from Intel the remaining NAND business assets, including certain IP related to the manufacture and design of NAND flash wafers, R&D, employees and the Dalian Fab workforce for $2 billion. That's quite a long time until we begin to see the fully Solidine name products reaching sell, but we'll be waiting. The question is, will Solidine be able to leapfrog off Intel storage success? Will Solidine maintain Intel's heavyweight status in the industry? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you missed it, check out our latest video. Just click the info banner in the top right. If this video is interesting, useful or enjoyable, make sure to support the channel by liking, subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week.